Is he off the ground? He's off the ground. 245. He could be. Congratulations, buddy. Hey, thanks. It's early in the season. Here we are. Last day. Missed a monster yesterday. Monster. Caught him looking back about 80 yards. Shot through a bunch of raspberries and whips and stuff, but guess I didn't get to him. Oh well, that was fun. On to today. Anyway, looks like it's melting a little bit now. It's foggy. Must be just above freezing, but deer are moving a lot in the night. It's hard to even sort out the tracks in the road, but I did find one that looks as fresh as anything I'd seen. And and uh, pretty sure that no way that one's going. So I guess I'm gonna take that instead of um, heading out where I was yesterday. I don't know. But looks like there's a lot of deer going in this woods, which might be a lot of figuring out tracks. But I don't know. I feel like getting into this piece. There's, I just think there's a lot of deer in there right now, so I'll be around them. And uh, just a really good chance. It's quiet. There's no wind, which sucks, but the snow is really quiet where it's raining and it's foggy out. It's awesome, so. Alright, stay tuned. Good track from the road. Went down through a piece of woods. There's tracks in there everywhere. I did that really slow just in case he was chasing does around or something, but. You could tell the track was open. I was hoping they were running around, but. Uh, Went down to this other piece, down towards the pond. And these old uh, five-year-old cuts. And uh, he's with a doe. I think there's a, another deer or two with him now. They're all kind of in the same steps. Came up, come up on, I think two of their beds, and maybe two others, or maybe it was just theirs. I'm not sure yet. Getting fresher. It's just below freezing today, so it's melting super slowly, so really tough to tell how old it is. Anyway, you start, stop to shine this little sap on up. I'm just frustrated. He's getting ready. Let's drag. Well, I just got him. Man, I'm super fired up. Those few beds I was talking about, they'd gotten out of the third or fourth one of those just after that. The last one I made where we rubbed that tree up a little bit and uh, we started going down, down the hill towards the brook and pond and tracks look pretty fresh, but like I said, it's uh, right just below freezing, so it was still tough to tell. I was <clears throat> I was looking up, but I was rushing a little little fast on him, and I jumped him. Didn't get a luck. It was pretty open there, too. It would have been a good chance, but uh, I wasn't sure if they'd jump too far, so I looked there for a little bit, and when I decided they weren't there, I, I hightailed it down through there, because he was with a doe. We went down through the bottom of that cut and headed towards this brook. He crossed the brook through the softwood and went down the edge of this chopping, and then they went down back into this softwood a little bit. And I'm heading down in the softwood, keep keeping my eyes peeled, and and all of a sudden the jumping tracks are gone. They're, they're headed back the other way, back up into that softwood that we just came from. And I'm looking, and about that time I look, they jump, and I saw them just kind of headed back for the chopping where we'd just been. So I just ran as best I could up through here to get to the back corner of the chopping, and uh, hoping they'd come out into it. And they did, the doe came out, so the butt came right alongside of her, and uh, and uh, about 40, maybe 50 yards probably, maybe 60, but um, came right out across Skid Road, and I put one into him right there, hit him first shot, and let one more go. I don't know if I hit him then or not, but he was done anyway, so. Some good blood there. Shot him again, right? Right here somewhere. 
sure if I hit him or not, but I think I might have because, yeah, it's right there. You see that? It really starts pouring blood there. I think I hit him again. Pretty good. Because that was right, he disappeared into that log and came out and I fired again, so. Went up through there, you see him? That dark spot on the ground up there. Right there, when I was going up to him, the doe had laid down on the other side of that little hump, jumped, jumped up, when I was getting close to him, took off. It's funny how they stay together like that. Beautiful buck. Beautiful, I'm so proud. I just want to thank God for him. I appreciate you, buddy. Nice 10 pointer. Pretty good rack. Don't have tall times, super tall times, but a lot of times they don't up here, but he's beautiful. Pretty thick horns. Just a cherry color. Awesome. So what's he weigh before we? I guess 204. There you go. And then take a picture. You just hit that one. What do you want me to do? You? We didn't have a, we have a jet sled back at camp. We didn't go back and get it. It felt, to the school bus, it took a while. So, looks like. <laughs> Just let it sit there for a minute. 238. 239. 239. Wow. Oh, beside him. Woo. Oh, we got a there we are, November 10th. I'm getting in late. It's almost 8 o'clock now. <clears throat> Had that uh, Arctic front roll through and dropped from 45 to 32 degrees in about five minutes. And then the second front went from uh, 32 to 20 in the last hour or so here. So now it's blowing 30 or 40, but we've got some snow. Pretty pumped. How's off gallivanting in Montana? Here we are. There's just enough. We're even under the softwood. There's uh, there's enough to track here, unless it gets blown off a little bit in places, but it's certainly enough to get out there and make something happen. Finally get out here. Perfect tracking conditions. I mean perfect. If you're not out today, you're missing out for sure. It's like two or three inches of snow, super quiet walking, blowing. Deer aren't moving much. But it's uh, got a late start. I didn't get up here till late, but nothing crossing the roads. So I made a huge loop around this mountain and uh, picked up some track here. It's like, it's pushing noon time. So we'll hop on this for a while, see, see what happens. It's like a de pretty decent track, but it's all we've seen today. So check it out. He's heading for the I think. I have a tough time seeing what direction it's going, but he's heading up this mountain, so back up to this peak and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, I just got him. I found that track and uh, it was all blown in. I could see he was feeding a lot. 
just since I talked to you last time, I don't even know if it's been an hour, and uh, it's just perfect tracking day. I mean, snow, two, three inches, blowing hard. I, I could see he was probably gonna lay down somewhere, and I just, I don't know how far away he was, so I just hooked it and walked right up on him. He jumped, and I let him have it. It's a beautiful nine. He uh, jumped up, was bobbing down through, he was straight away, and, and I put one in the top of his back, and then as he was struggling down through, I think I got another one into his shoulder and one into his neck, and uh, that was it. He's a nice, nice deer, and nice, nice nine. I'm so thankful for him. I just want to thank the Lord for him. It's all him. It's really just God's work, and I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lord. Anyway, here he is. Beautiful buck. November 10th. My first time up here this year. Went out and made it happen. That's what you gotta do. He jumped a few times and I shot him. Well, we were up, up there on that knoll way up in there. on the other side of this mountain on the lee side and he was laid down and I jumped him, I don't even know if he was 20, 30 yards away and he was bouncing down through here and I got one into him and, and got one or two more. And he bounced down through here. I think I hit him up there somewhere and then came down through here. And then there he lays right there. Nice buck. Don't know if I'll go 200 or we will see. <clears throat> I got the best friends in the world. All right. I don't need bigger. It's frozen! It's close. Who was your guess on that one guy? I don't think he stopped long enough to look. <laughs> Wages. Uh, no money. <laughs> All right, what's everybody guessing? What do you guess? 195. I said 215 right from the get go. When we started dragging, I thought he was 200, but when we were done, I thought 300. Yeah. <laughs> 209. <laughs> What's your guess? 205. I say 226. 226? I like that. That sounds good. Get this boy a pass! Get him a pass! Oh yeah, take that off. Hold on, hold on. Wow. Keep going. Oh God, keep going. Keep keep going. Oh Is he off the ground? Congratulations, buddy. Hey, thanks. Oh, it's early in the season. Forty-seven and a half. Forty. Wow. wow. Nice dude. Wow. dude it's nice job, brother. Nice. Tenth, that's a lot. Hey, nice job. Buddy. Nice one. Nice Thank job. you. Thanks. You had him all squished right. in that sled, man. I'm like, I don't know. No, he he didn't really fit he in the was sled. He said it weighed like more like wow. three hundred when he what got it out. Stop. Wow. Wow, look how thick he is, man. Nice.